and they're not meant to taste the same. So here's your sketch pad. I'm not using the sketch pad. Ah, I'm a little shy about your arm. Yeah, you relaxed? I think so. I'm not sure I know enough about gig poster art. No, you do you know all about gig poster art? Gig poster art is an art form which started, I guess, as a way of constructing and making posters for shows which were used to advertise gigs and concerts in the sort of 60s and 70s in the UK and the US, uh, and which over time has sort of evolved into this art form about it as a collectible artefact as well as a way of advertising. The point where I first became aware of them and fell in love with them was through the 1980s and through the 1990s through the American Indie Underground. So through artists like Frank Kozik and Art Chantry, who were working with bands and record labels in Seattle. They were the first ones that I began to see. And it was the first time I'd seen sort of genuinely, you know, you saw a wall of posters in a record shop and those are the ones that stood out and those are the ones that were exciting. And those are the ones you wanted to know more about both the band and the person who made it. Um, so these are just a, these are a selection from my personal collection from various kind of UK artists who are, who are kind of current and working today. Um, so this top one is a post for Faith No More by Drew Millward, who I used to run the record label uh, and, and work with. Um, I guess if there was uh, the, a big name of the UK poster scene, Drew is probably it. So he works with a lot of the big US bands, so people like um, Fish and Primus, uh, Faith No More and, and that kind of ilk. This is work by Adam Pobiak. Adam's work is linked with sort of the psychedelic poster movement of particularly the, the sort of the US and the Fillmore and San Francisco in the 70s. This is me. All right, I don't know what, yeah, you no, said about your own work. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So these are two pieces of work that were commissioned by British Underground. Um, the bottom one was an advert for the essence of British Underground in a comic pictorial form. The top one, that's the post for one of a series of prints that I've been making for Howard, Monk and Shush Festival. This is another one of this one for Tune Yards. Adam Pobiak once described that as looking like one of Cindy Lauper's farts. I studied fine art in, in Leeds um, and whilst doing that I was also writing sort of bits of music reviewing for an online fanzine, um, putting on shows and running a, a small record label. And within that myself and Drew Millward, who's another UK poster artist, took it in turn to sort of make posters for the shows that we were putting on together um, and then other people began to ask us to make posters for their shows and then that kind of snowballed from there um, and then we began to sort of find out about a network of other artists within the DIY scene in the UK who were doing sort of similar things and that's when we began to kind of connect together and try and work more as a group to kind of promote shows um, both in the UK and then throughout Europe and now over in the US as well. 